Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. I want to say thank you very much for everyone for joining us today. We're going to talk about the cost of living for me uh, in 2024, in uh, May, June 2024. What does it cost me to live here in Sri Lanka after the financial crisis? What has been going on? What is happening? Join us, why don't you, right after this. Guys, welcome to Glowmark. Welcome, welcome. Let's take a look at some pricing for today for April uh, April 2024. Uh, chicken breast, chicken neck, oh chicken thigh with the skin on it. Good price. Good price. Chicken wings. Beef top side, man. The beef here is not good. I, I bought a beef top side. Even imported was not good. Wow, pork bacon ends, pork leg chop, expensive, expensive. Lagoon prawns, 308 for 100 grams. And then the other favorite is tilapia, which is 308 for 100 grams. That's what mom bought today. She bought some prawns and some tilapia. So this is the upscale store that I usually shop. Ah, thank you. This is the upscale shop that I come to. Let's see, where did mom go? Ah, there she is. Uh, I want a soda. So I got a tonic. I want to get a cream soda. What do they have? Oh, over here. One shelf for one, one shelf for the other. Uh, back. Nice and cold. Here's your other fish muff. I'm sorry? So I picked up some flour, self-rising flour, because <clears throat> I'm going to try to make... Do we have eggs at home? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to make some... I'm going to make some bread in the bread maker again, or try. You said you needed salt? You said you needed salt, that's why you came? Oh, oh okay. Sugar? Salt? No? Okay. Let's go take a look at some coffee. The coffee here is actually quite good. No. There it is. And they don't have what I want. So we're going to have to buy instant coffee when we go up to New I have instant coffee. I have Nescafe. Oh, okay. Dark? Yep. All right. There are two things you can have a look at. Oh, okay. Good. We should either pack it or buy it. No need. You have it. You have unopened bottles. No need to go in that Let's go see what is available at the bakery today. Chris. 
know, the place really has changed. Like they, this is now, they're opening it up to like other vendors. If you see here, this didn't used to be here. They used to have their own stuff. And now they're opening it up to different vendors because they don't have enough material to stock. Um, so they've opened up the spaces, right? Like this used to be full of stuff and now they can't put anything in here uh, because we're running out of stock. Well, not running out of stock. There isn't enough stock to stock. So anyway. Yeah, you're gonna have to look because I don't know what you like. So you're gonna have to look. Yeah, Alexi. Had it, had it, had it. So that's it, guys. Mom's shopping for some snacks for today, and we're gonna order pizza in for dinner. So I gotta do that. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate it, guys. Remember, Sri Lankan Sammy retired with mom and dad. Learn to live life. Don't let life live you. Be good to each other, and we'll see you all on the other side. Hey guys, we are back. We we're just buying our vegetables at the uh, roadside stand here. This is a local farmer that we come to. They have a great variety of uh, vegetables that you can see. Guys, if you really want to support, click the link down below. Buy me a coconut. What I do is I match dollar for dollar. Everything that you guys sponsor and support, and this is where we buy our, our vegetables. We buy our vegetables from here, and uh, we support the local uh, farmers by buying their, their vegetables here. So you guys can see how the pricing and everything here. What are we shopping for today, Mom? It's different. What kind? Everything? Everything. everything. Let's get some beans. I haven't had bean curry yeah. in a while, please. Lots of beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys can stop the video and check out the pricing here for the different kinds of uh, vegetables and see for yourself. They, um, they do the, uh, the weight a little bit different. Some of them are by kilo, some are by 250 grams. When you go to the grocery store it's always 100 grams okay it's always 100 grams so when you look at this price make sure you divide it by 2.5 to get the actual price okay the reason they do it by 250 grams is because the price is so cheap mom was saying the prices here are about 40 percent 20 to 40 percent better than at the grocery store and these are fresh These are the prices for today. Uh, you guys can check it, check it out, and we will see you all on the other side. You know that you know that uh, vegetable curry that was made. Is this the thing that's yeah. made? Yeah, I like that. I like this. I like this. Okay. What's this? I don't know what you call it. It's a vegetable? It's a vegetable. It's for, for people like you who get very upset, they tell you to eat that. <laughs> so guys, just before we go, I mean, look how beautiful it is today. Getting my vitamin D today. So check out the traffic. Oh, it is a Saturday morning. I think it's about 11 o'clock in the morning. And the sun today is going to be right above us. At 12, 12 noon, the sun is going to be right above us. I, I don't know if you can see it. Where is it? Right there. It is going to be a scorcher. For the next five days, the sun is going to be directly above the country. So we are about 
300 kilometers away from the equator. And the, the, the sun is, uh, the equator is about 300 kilometers south of us. But because of the fluctuation of the earth and everything or whatever, I don't know, they're saying for five days, the sun is going to traverse the country. Just south of us, the, the line is, is south of us by about uh, 50 kilometers of where we live. But it's still, it's going to be, I mean, I can, I, I notice it. The sun is directly above. Um, and I mean, you can see the shadows right here, how, you know, you can see the shadow, how it's just barely uh, vertical. Anyway, that's an interesting thing. So enjoy your day, guys. We'll see you all on the other side. All right, welcome back. So let's jump right into it. It costs me almost nothing. Okay? And I'm very lucky for that. But I'm going to give you guys some pricing so that you can kind of see what the budget is if you wanted to live here yourself, okay? So it costs me about, I'm going to say about 500 US dollars a month. We're going to calculate it right now because I honestly, I don't know, but we're going to break it down for you because I have my spreadsheet, which I use. I have this spreadsheet that I have been using for a decade. It's an Excel spreadsheet, it's got macros on it, it's got some uh, formulas and everything. It shows my incoming revenue and my outgoing expenses and then what's left for savings, okay? Because that's been key for me for the last few years is my savings, putting that into a savings account to earn high interest. So I also recently calculated if, because I know how much I spend, I know how much I earn, going to earn potentially on average, and I see that, you know, within the next year and then slowing down, within two years, I will never have to work again to just live off the interest. Even if the interest rate drops to 5%, right now it's 10%. Even if it drops to 5%, I'll still be able to live forever. And my capital grow. Sorry, my, princ my principal amount will continue to grow because I'll be earning more interest than I'm spending per month. So let's figure it out, okay. So the first thing is office rent. You guys will see a video coming up very soon on the Gumbo Beach rental apartments. You can get a rental apartment for a year for $200 a month. A pretty decent, clean, place to live within five minutes walking at the beach in the temple. You can go much cheaper. You can get a shit crappy little place with no air con, you know, kind of not the cleanest place in the world for 50 bucks a month. And it's a small room, okay? But if you want like a nice kitchen, modern facilities, a toilet and all of that stuff, you know, you, you, you'll pay a little bit more electricity and everything like that. Now, I pay mom about 150 US dollars a month for uh, rent. Now, what does that rent mean? Well, it means my electricity cost to her, the food costs and any incidentals like water, wear and tear, anything like the, the, the main, like to help support her, right? To help support her cost of me living in this house. I pay for my own internet, which is 32,000 rupees a month because I need fiber. Now the house has, um, solar power. So in the event of an emergency cut, we still have electricity. So it hasn't been a problem. We've got to fine tune it and I have a UPS. So if there's like a power drain or power switch, I still operate for about 20 minutes. So I pay about a hundred US dollars for my internet. 
to my phone, I say, well, not even five US dollars for my cell phone. Now, that's Sri Lanka. I also have a cell phone in Korea, which I pay about, I'm gonna say 10 or 15 dollars a month to maintain that phone number because I have to have that phone number for communicating with my work, uh, keeping my real name ID. South Korea needs a real name ID attached to a phone. My phone has my, my digital certificate for banking and all of that stuff. So all of those things I need to have. Now food is already, I already pay off for food or the food that I, because I barely eat it. It's the fruit. I, I don't eat a lot of food. Uh, when I mean food is when I go out. Sometimes, or not when I go out. When I go out, sometimes mom pays, sometimes I pay. So we switch back. That's going to go under miscellaneous in this story. So for food, I'm talking about like today, I'm, I want to get KFC. So I'm going to pay for that. So once a week, I order in junk food, because that's my reward. Like pizza, burgers, chicken, whatever. So 20 bucks a week I spend, so let's just say over 100, 100 bucks a month. Transportation, now mom pays for that, but I, need, I wanted you guys to know, uh, you can hire a driver. We pay Desmond about, I'm gonna say, well, I don't want to give too many details, but what he makes. Let's just say you can hire a driver to, to be on call. Now, this is without a car. You have to have your own car. Car prices are ridiculous. I don't want to get into that. You guys can look that up online. There are hundreds of videos on buying a car in Sri Lanka. We bought our car 10 years ago, so we own it. But to pay a driver, you can pay anywhere from 50 to 100 um, thousand rupees. So about 150 US dollars, 200 US dollars a month. Okay. So let's just say 150 US dollars a month. Uh, gas, petrol, okay, right now is just under 400 rupees a liter. So that's $1.33 a liter. We spend, I'm gonna say, every two weeks about, so about a month we spend about $100. 100 US dollars a month. Healthcare costs. Now, I did a video about healthcare costs before. Um, going to the doctor once every three months, every four months, cost me about $30 a month. Cost me about a hundred bucks to go to the doctor and get, a blood test, get my blood tests, and all my test stuff, which I track. And then my medication cost me less than 20 US dollars a month. So I'm spending about 50 US dollars a month on my LA. Entertainment. Um, going out, entertainment, miscellaneous, I'm putting that together. Dinners. Dinners out, uh, going to, like I want to go to a, a comedy show, uh, going to this, going to that, going to like a Bessa, going to New Year's, going to Sri Lanka New Year's, Singhala New Year's, the, the, the different things that we go out to do. Now I'm not including the vacations, like we went to Nure, went to Ella. Those are things that are extraneous chart costs that you don't need if you're just living, okay? But you need to have a little bit of entertainment and that I call that like going out for dinner. So. Like for example, we went up for a very nice steak dinner at TGI and we, four people, ate and drank alcohol. Three alcohol drinks, four entree, entrees, uh, one or two apps, 
and it was 133 US dollars that included the tip, included the tax. $133 for four people. That is not a lot of money for an amazing steak dinner. Okay, so let's just say $150 because we go out two times a month to go out to eat to a fancy restaurant or something like that. So $150 a month. Miscellaneous, these are things that I spend on that I don't really need but like to have, like upgrades to my computer. Uh, you know, getting like hand creams, foot massage, pedicures, lotions for my feet and my hands, uh, razor blades for my head, you know, toiletries, those kinds of things. Those are extraneous. Let's just say fifty dollars. Toothpaste, you know, those kinds of things. So, all in all. That's what I spent. Okay, so let's calculate about 150 plus 100 plus 5 plus 250 plus 200 plus 50. So uh, 710. Uh, that's what I spent. Okay, I could, you, you can live. So that's what, let's say 200 a month on uh, rent, which will include your internet and your uh, electricity, $5 for, in, for, for your cell phone, food, not even a hundred bucks a month, transportation, you won't, you won't need to transit. You pay for a tuk tuk. Gas that's included, healthcare, you're gonna need healthcare. Entertainment, that's up to you. Let's just put in miscellaneous 50. All right. So if you were to live here, uh, it would cost you less than 500, which is what I said. Two, three, four, 455 is what I calculated. To have a house, to eat, and to live. Okay? Now, if you wanted to hire a maid, it costs you about another 50 bucks a month, like a maid cook, which I recommend. So, still, 500 US dollars a month, and you can live on the beach in the gumbo. There's a video coming out. Uh, when is that video coming out? That video is coming out on Wednesday. So the next video, you will see three examples of places you can rent in Nagumbo Beach from cheap to middle to luxury, okay? So uh, you guys will see that on Wednesday. So check that out. These prices are based on today's prices. Cost of food is down. Cost of cooking gas is down. Cost of petrol is down. Uh, inflation is down to 1.5% from 45 to 70% two years ago. The Sri Lankan rupee last week was down to 295 to the US dollar. It's gone back up today. It's gone back up to about 300. It's 299. Okay, so 299 rupees for one US dollar. And it has it has been going down continuously. Interest rates are down. Whereas they were 27% two years ago, 14% a year ago, they're 8.5%, the best rate you can get. So yeah, the rupee has dropped from Sorry, the rupee has dropped. The lowest it was 295 less than a month ago. It's now 291. It jumped up a little bit to 301, but on average, you can see this. Hopefully, that. Let's 
let's just look at the five. You know, you can see where Here and then where the government allowed the money to flow on its own. And, it and now it's gone because in the last three months, uh, things have gotten a lot better. In the last three months, the economy is All right, so, um, and we're getting into an election too. So, Things are getting a lot, 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 lot better. Um, now, once the election happens, who knows? The economy. I keep getting comments from people: Is it safe? Who knows? Nobody knows. If I knew what was going to happen in the future, I'd be a rich person. Nobody knows. We can just take calculated risks. Even cash in your pocket is a calculated risk. Cash in the bank makes you money. I have to pay 5% capital gains tax. I don't pay income tax. I pay 5% capital gains on my interest. Otherwise, I don't pay anything else. I don't pay fees to the bank. Um, I still haven't got my credit card. I need to go and do that soon uh, because I had to do a secured account. Um, What else? Oh, yeah, visas. You guys are going to need to look at visas and your visa costs. I'm going to be doing a visa uh, vlog soon. So that is going to be coming out in the next week or two. Uh, let's see, I'm going to do that on. Yeah, I'm going to do that on the 27th, so in, in, a, in a week. Yeah, a week from today, you'll have a visa video. I, I need to do that because I've been promising to do that and I still haven't gotten around to it because I don't know a lot about visas. As a citizen, I don't go to look at visas. What other costs can you think about? Well, you would have to think about like luxury costs. What things do you need in your house? repairs to your house if you're renting you don't have to worry about that because most of the, the places come fully furnished but clothes um, maybe you want a fan maybe you want computers maybe you want you know whatever some luxuries from home uh, shipping things paying customs and excise tax paying you know i'm going to be doing a video on uh, online shopping and what you can do and, and how much things cost but overall if you wanted to come here and you got yourself the right visa you were here you could potentially live here on the low end on the low end you could live here for under 400 us dollars a month. on the middle end about five to six hundred and on the luxury end no more than seven or eight hundred you would never have to go over that price if you had a thousand dollars us dollars a month and i'm talking outside colombo uh, colombo prices are a little bit different colombo prices are very expensive for rent okay i'm talking outside of Columbus. unless you want to live in colombo then you do but if you just want to live like i do the rural life with just you know Sri Lankan style there you go so I I did order I found online uh, a meat uh, shop and I ordered a t-bone steak which will come tomorrow so I'll talk about that in the next video you guys will see that hopefully it will be good beef I'm gonna tenderize it hopefully it's a good cut we'll see what it is I cannot get still haven't figured out how to get imported beef if i can get australian beef or u.s beef then i'll be happy what i'm getting is sri lankan and we'll see how that works out anyway this video uh like i said is about uh 
my cost of living and what it might cost you. I want to say thank you to everybody who's watching, liking, sharing, commenting. Uh, check out the videos coming right after this about what um, the shopping that I did. You guys can see that. We'll see you all on the other side.